a team that has been, for lack of a better term, stirring up a lot of shit, Jimmy. That's you guys down there. Talk to me about this weekend, Stout taking on number nine, UW Oshkosh, and I will uh, I will just leave it at that. Oh, man. So, obviously, you got Luke Cool, the best kicker in America. The guy just delivers game after game after game. I mean, this guy's got ice in his veins. I mean, his last name is very fitting for his persona around the locker room. Uh, our Division Three Special Teams Player of the Week, six for six and extra points, and they nailed the game-winning field goal with just two seconds left. It's from 24 yards, but it does not matter. When, it, when it's a game and kick, it's a game winning kick. You're going to get player of the week. That's freaking awesome. Yep. There you go. Um, on another note, uh, Adam Moen, by the way, the quarterback for Stout, has been absolutely playing out of his mind. Another five touchdown performance this week. From week one to now, he's a completely different quarterback. Uh, getting through his reads, progressions, running the ball really effectively as well. And uh, Luke Sedin actually got in there, made a big run for us, got us into a better scoring position, gave Moen a breather. Well, that was huge, but uh, the WIAC just continues to be an enigma. Like no one knows like who's the top dog, and like we still don't know if you're going into week ten here, it's week eleven. But there could be a four way tie depending on how everything goes down, and that would just be absolute chaos for the mm. playoff. It would, and now you have a lot in stake at stake. Excuse me, this weekend, but I mean, you guys start pretty hot, all things considered. You tie it up at seven, you take the lead, and then this really was back and forth, but you guys start to really separate, you know, going, again, we talk about ending the second half and going into that, or ending the first half, excuse me, going into that second half. You score um, into the second, or near the end of this, uh, the second quarter, talked about Moen coming on the eight-yard run, that's 28-14. Then you score again, 35-14. Uh, Tucker catches that one, and... The game could have gotten away there. Oshkosh finds a way to tie it up. Trey Tetzlaff, six and a half minutes yeah. left to tie things up at 42. And then, of course, the man on the screen, Luke Cool, he gets the job yeah. done for you guys. I mean, talk about the uh, the environment there. Road Warriors. Yeah. You know, it came out with a big one. And uh, there's a lot of controversial calls late in the game, too, that made it a little bit closer. Like we, had a, we had a kickoff return. Like Pat Corcoran was like, clearly down on the ground, and they ruled it a fumble. And that made it. I mean, we're, if we just get the ball there, get a couple first downs, it's over, and then they get the ball back from that fumble, and then obviously they go down, we tie, they tie it, and then they miss a field goal. They could have taken the lead, and then we go down and get the field goal, and that was it. So it was, it was, it was surreal. It was, awesome. it was awesome. I believe it, dude. I believe it. So now, um, you know, moving forward, you guys, Platteville this weekend, and, and you mentioned it. I mean, you win, and it seems like all signs point towards you guys get the automatic qualifier and the bid out of the WIAC, which, again, you talk about being on the freaking bingo card. Not a person. That's no shot at you guys. Not a person in America had that on the bingo card at the start of the year, and that's why the sport is so special. Now, I will mention, though, in the summer, when you asked who I thought would win the WIAC, I said it's going to be someone that no one expects. You did. And I think you know who I was thinking of, but I did not say <laughs> yeah. it. You know, because you, you got to be humble on the show, obviously. But we, we've all believed all year that we are capable of doing whatever we want to do. I mean, it's up to us. And uh, I did see that Plattville posted that they clinched on their Instagram, which was kind of interesting because now, I don't know if they've actually clinched. Maybe they, they have clinched that uh, they have at but, least a share of the yeah. whacked, which is correct. Yeah, yeah. it is true. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I got to – I don't know. I, but you from your perspective, I mean, I'm sure you guys take it as yeah. you know, you take it as a chip, right? Add the exactly. chip to the shoulder, no, right? I Absolutely. Like, I was like, "What's that? Like, what do you what do you mean?" But no, I mean, I do, I do get that perspective a lot. And I think the cool thing about it, you know, for you guys is you get to control your own destiny. And at this point in the season, there are not a lot of teams that say that. So now you guys get to control uh, your destiny when it comes to the playoff football, and that's really exciting. Mm-hmm.